So who remembers when the original JPG scandal came out last year in 2021? It's one of those situations where it was very unexpected for myself personally and probably for a lot of you guys as well. Because you got to think, we're so used to getting fed all of these Lamal flankers for years and years and years from the John Paul Gaultier brand that getting a, a whole new line altogether eventually gets to the point where it's kind of out of thought, you know, something I wasn't even expecting at that point. Now, don't get me wrong, I really, really like all of the Lamal flankers, or at least a good majority of them. There's been a lot of great fragrances for men released within there. Everything from, of course, the original over to Ultramail, Lamal Le Parfum, On Board, Popeye, and whatever. There's a lot of good stuff in there, but it is nice to get something new. And, well, they did give a scandal. Now, scandal <laughs> kind of uh, dropped the ball a little bit for me. This one has caramel. It's got tonka bean, a little bit of orange up top. Very, very sweet. But I found it to be just very, very dull for myself. It wasn't anything that excited me. And ever since doing my review, I really haven't worn it since then. I really haven't. I went ahead and did a spray up in the air before starting this video to get my first impressions on the Parfum version, but other than that, I haven't smelled this one since. It just didn't do it for me. But when initially covering uh, the new Scandal, I was like, okay, this isn't really for me, but I'm excited to see the future because at this point, it doesn't take a, a genius to understand that when a new line forms, many flankers are gonna be on the horizon. And we're starting the first batch of flankers here with Scandal Le Parfum, brand new in box. Uh, bottle looks cool uh, from pictures online. This is a refillable bottle style here, as it says there on the front. We're gonna just rip this open, give it a smell. We'll see if it's better than the original. We'll see if it compares to anything else on the market. I'm actually relatively excited for this one. I, like I said, I was looking forward to the flankers of Scandal because I think they can improve on that original DNA. So we'll see what they have to offer. So here we go, Scandal Le Parfum. Now, what do we've got? We've got an Eau de Parfum Intense. So right off the bat, it's not an actual true parfum concentration. EDP Intense, not that it matters a whole lot, but I wanted to point that out. And I do believe, if you go back and look at my first impressions when talking about Scandal, I said, hey, they can release a, a parfum or an EDP and black out the bottle. And uh, well, they ju did just that, as you can see, there is a clear difference between the two right here. So we have nothing else to do other than to spray this one on. Came primed already, which is uh, always interesting. And uh, we'll see what this is all about. So right off the bat, I can tell you with 100% certainty, I like it better than the original. The original opened up so, so sweet, and I don't have a problem with sweetness and fragrances. Anyone who watches my channel knows that I like that. I even like that in some summer fragrances. But the original had this kind of overwhelming, almost synthetic nature to it to where for myself, it just didn't work. And that's right off the top. But with the late parfum version, Immediately, it's more smooth. It's a little bit more well-rounded. It's kind of calmed down in terms of its actual scent profile, right? There aren't any jagged, harsh edges with the Le Parfum version, whereas with the original, I found that it was, in some instances, a little bit rough for me. Now, we'll take a look at the note breakdown, but I gotta warn you, there's nothing really to be overwhelmed about. We've got three notes. We have geranium as the top note, we have tonka bean as the mid note, and sandalwood as the base note. It literally could not get more bare bones and basic than this. And now, of course, it's important to note that there's gonna be more going on in here, but the brands these days are kind of wanting to pick and choose on the notes that they want you to smell, and that's kind of what they chose here. I don't think they did too bad of a job. I get a lot of the tonka bean for sure, giving off that powdery sweetness, a good amount of woods here in this one, kind of a creamy woody note, which would make sense with the sandalwood there, so I do agree. And up top, uh, you do get a little bit of a kind of a green kick, um, almost a minty spicy kick uh, when you first sprayed this one on. 
and that would be from the geranium. Now to that note, I do pick up on like an orange up top as well, kind of a creamy orange, kind of kicking off that sweetness right off the bat. And then maybe a little bit of an amber in here, just uh, not an ambroxan or anything like that, but a sweeter, silkier amber note along with that tonka bean. And also hints of vanilla I pick up on as well. Um, just kind of adding to that sweetness. But again, we're talking about more of a silky, smooth sweetness rather than a more harsh, abrasive sweetness like I get in the original. So as this one's been drying down on my skin here, just a little bit kind of settling down, it is uh, kind of going back to the original Scandal. So this is one of those flankers where it does share similarities to the original. And you'll find when you look at a lot of different brands and uh, how they go about producing their scents, you can have a flanker that smells similar to the original that they're going off of, you know, in that line. Or you can have a flanker that is literally completely different, right? And designer brands will do this, right? And so a lot of times when you're going into it, you don't know for sure what you're getting. But in this instance here, you are still tying back to the original scandal. But again, going back to what I was saying earlier, it's richer, it's smoother, it's more well-rounded and well done. And at the end of the day, while this still might not blow me away, while this probably won't get close to ranking into my favorite releases of 2022, because I can tell you right now, this isn't gonna rank high in that list, um, it is an improvement over the original. And I think in this situation here, that's what you're gonna be looking for. I don't really expect to see anything too unique or too groundbreaking out of the John Paul Gaultier scandal line, but as long as they can keep putting stuff out and it keeps getting better as each release goes on, I'll be on board. So again, just to reiterate this, um, I don't think this is a, a, a fantastic release in terms of what it's going up against this year. Now, look, this year has been amazing for fragrances. Uh, Gentleman Reserve Privé by Givenchy, Aqua de Jo Eau de Parfum by Armani, of course. Um, what else? Narciso Rodriguez Blue Noir Parfum, and the list goes on. Literally, the list does go on. It's hard to brainstorm when I'm on the spot here, but you can look at some of my videos where I've covered a lot of the new releases so far, there's been a huge amount of fantastic, game-changing releases for this year. And this is not gonna hang with those. But again, this is going to be an improvement over the original scandal. So that means that if you're in the market for a new John Paul Gaultier, and maybe the new scandal line has caught your eye and you're like, okay, should I get the original? Should I get the new Le Parfum? Should I wait for something else? Uh, if you're gonna get any of them, as of right now, when there's only two versions, get the Le Parfum. This here makes the original not worth owning, in my opinion. You don't need both, okay? And if you already have the original, this is a situation where you might wanna sample the Le Parfum because realistically you would probably like it better, right? I really think you would. But if you don't have the original and you're wanting to get one, you get the new Le Parfum, no questions asked. Again, we're talking an Eau de Parfum Intense. Um, at this time, I'm not gonna know anything about performance and really projection or sillage. I can tell you that as it's sitting on my skin right now, it hasn't budged in terms of its strength. And that's one thing, believe it or not, where you can kind of get a feel for a fragrance's performance within the first eight, 10 minutes of it. Uh, there's a lot of fragrances that I own where if I spray it on my skin and I wait eight, 10, 12 minutes, whatever, it'll start fading right away. And typically, if it starts fading and it's a noticeable fade within that time frame, I usually know that it's not gonna be the best performer. And when I test it and I follow up with it, that ends up proving true. If a scent is able to stay strong and continue pushing throughout the first 10, 12, 15 minutes or so, then I usually know that it's at least gonna have a fighting chance. So while I'm not guaranteeing anything with the performance of this one, because I simply can't, right? This is the first time I've smelled it and I've worn it. 
uh, it's off to a good start. It's definitely not going to be one that's going to fade super quick. Uh, I have pretty good expectations for it. It's sweet, it's heavy, it's strong, and I think you'll get solid performance out of this one. I would say if I had to put a number on it, eight or 10 hours is not out of the realm of possibility here. Um, so that's pretty cool. Again, EDP intense. I think it's going to do well. Alrighty guys, that's going to do it for me. My thoughts on the new John Paul Gaultier Scandal Le Parfum. Like I said, I was actually pretty excited for this one. And I was excited for the flankers of this line ever since I smelled the original. So I'm curious to see how they're going to take this line. I have a feeling it's going to be like Lamal, and they're just going to keep pumping and pumping and maybe we'll get lucky and get some summer editions. I'm not for sure. But I would like to see them continue to push this a little bit kind of stray away a little bit further from that original, give us something a little bit more interesting, give us some leather, give us some whiskey, give us some more woods, or in a summer edition, give us something different. You know, there's a lot of directions they can go with this line and I'm looking forward to it. But like I said, I would take this Le Parfum over the original any day. All right, you guys, that's gonna do it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.